So back to the point, Buddha has talked about all these, you know, they call it 84,000, extremely more than that, of methods. The whole thing is just to give you a choice so that, give you more choice so that you can pick something that's suitable to you, but you need to pick one. Uh, that's why today when we choose to learn uh, uh, to learn from pure and Buddhism, that means chanting Amitabha. Why? Because it's easier. First, the standard is you don't have to sever all the afflictions. Uh, other methods, other than pure land, needs to sever the affliction in this lifetime. For our case, we only need to suppress it, the afflictions, the problems. As long as you're able to suppress, not allowing it to uh, react, to help, to come out. Uh, first, how do you suppress it? By putting your focus on Amitabha Buddha's name, Amitabha. And then ask, seek, reborn in pure land. And then you can sort out your affliction with it. That's why it's in the two stage rather than one off. So that's why if you don't choose the right method, uh, even uh, when you choose in this path that's relatively easy, we still have a lot of affliction after learning 10 years. Why? The more we learn, the more we chant, the more affliction we have. Because we haven't mastered the method. Uh, so this one is already relatively easy. We still take a lot of energy to learn, let alone something that requires you to cut it off, cut off your, all your affliction right now in one lifetime. Therefore, we need to choose something in line with our capability and our era and our uh, you know, living environment. So, only when we know what to choose and why we choose, why we learn this uh, method and why we learn Buddhism, then we would uh, no longer be superstitious towards it. We know why, we know the methods, we know the, the, the theory that it's based on. And we understand that Buddhism right, is meant to awaken us uh, after giving 49 years of sermon talks, uh, what's the most important thing? What, what is he talking about? You know, after giving so many years of speech, everything is about the truth of universe and our life. Uh, universe is vast, right? A lot of planet, solar system, Milky Way. Uh, why did that happen? Why is it so many? And if you go down to the microscopic level to us, our life. Uh, so what does universe mean? Universe means, in our sense, is our environment, our living environment. Uh, universe includes your current living environment. Have you understood your own universe, your living environment? what kind of attitude you should in face of your current environment. Not just physical one, also the people. When you're dealing with people, it's also part of the environment. Or things, events. So the universe is environment. Life is ourself. Talking about ourself, you. Individual. This path of life and to death. Birth to death. Some people, from the born all the way to the death, when he's old and die, he didn't. St he's still not clear about his life, uh, purpose of life. If you look at the common uh, majorities, live. How do they live their life? Earn, eat, sleep, wake up, work. And then when you ask, what's your value? What's your principle in life? What's the most important principle and value you have in your life? What's your bottom line? They are not clear about it. So we can summarize this kind of life as you came this came to this world without a clue. You go depart from this world without a clue. And that's the fortune part we have. You know, no matter our cultivation level, that's the fortune part we have right now. Is we understand we have a purpose. We have given an option to have a purpose. Beyond waking up, brush, eat, earn money, come back home, you know, bath, 
sleep, and then repeat, rinse and repeat. Those are mechanical part, right? But for us, we're fortunate in this regard. Uh, we have learned Buddhism, we have learned the meaning of Buddha and, and himself, what example he has. If you look at young people, young, young people nowadays, uh, a lot of common habit is a lot of uh, time was wasted uh, on something, by them on something that is meaningless. In long run, it's, it's meaningless. Uh, even Some even uh, use their parents' wealth, position, power to commit atrocities to, or to commit killings, sexual misconducts, uh, something that is pointless. For example, even the whole world, uh, we use a very extreme one like drugs, and majority of it is young people who hooked into this side drugs, intoxicants. And if you have no guide, your life is just gone, just like that. When we must understand after learning Buddhism, it takes a huge fortune, a lot of merits to be able to born into the human world, in the human body, in the human uh, world. Therefore, we should not waste it. From this, we understand when Buddha is talking about all, all the sutras. All right. It's all about ourselves. It refers to yourself. Uh, the target of his speech is you uh, and your environment. That means your life and your universe. If we do not get this point after hearing all the sutras or reading all the sutras or dharma talks, then it becomes separated. Uh, our life becomes uh, separated from what was learned in the book. It's pointless then. So from 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 something that's supposed to be related to our life, we treat it as something separated from us. And it becomes like a not reading a novel, right? And there's no benefit from it. It becomes a superstition. Today, uh, if you ask one person uh, who claims they learn Buddhism, uh, why, how do you practice Buddhism? He, what is Buddhism? He might, one might answer, today uh, I chant using the beats, I chant the sutra, and then when I ask, why do you learn this? I think learning Buddhism is all about chanting and reading the sutras. And they have the ad most people have the attitude of, you know, looking at the, at the statute and like, I chant the sutra for him so that he can bless me, something like that. But we must understand the sutra came from Buddha. He's the one who gave us the teaching. He doesn't need you to read to him. The whole point is for you to use what was, uh, what you learned and to use it in your life. Generate into something useful for you in your life. That's the point of chanting. So, Buddha's Dharma, no matter its scale, its depth, its level, uh, all of them has to, are related to your life. Uh, not just related, intricately tied. Because it teaches you how to deal with people, deal with challenges, uh, what kind of mentality you have in order to overcome these hurdles after hurdles uh, in everyday life. Especially when you're not happy, when you felt trapped, depressed, it can help you to transform this stuck up, stuck situation into something uh, actionable, movable. 